Welcome to the Sniper's Hide. First look at the new Night Force front focal plane 5 to 25 scope. This is dubbed the Beast. Uh, not an F1 5 to 22 front focal plane, but a true 5 to 25 front focal plane. Uh, very similar to the Night Force design, although you can see a different saddle section. So let's go through some of the features of this new scope. 34 millimeter main tube, 56 millimeter objective. So we have some good features there that you can compare to some of the other 5 to 25s. Uh, made in the USA, as you can see right here. And the glass is new and improved with this model. You haven't seen glass like this from a Night Force scope before. It's got a lot of pop, it's got a lot of resolution, it's got great color to it. Uh, I took it out, you can peer into the shadows with it. I mean, just fantastic glass. This model happens to be the MOA version, and there's some unique features around the adjustments of these new scopes. The mill versions will be coming, but I wanted to grab my hands on one of these as soon as possible, and what they had available is the MOA version, so let me take you through it. We have quarter minute MOA adjustments on your windage, and as you can see, the little red button on the side here, that is an unlock feature, so right now it's locked. Push that button and come off your zero and it's unlocked and it stays unlocked until you go back to zero. Push it, unlocked, stays unlocked until you go back to zero. Great little feature, it's small, it's out of the way there and it's right where you can get a hold of it. And again, quarter MOA adjustments on that. The elevation. Everybody's looking at that and going, wow, um, did some comparison photos on the website. Take a look at that. It's not really as big as you think it is, but there's some unique features going on with it. 60 MOA per turn. The mil version is going to have uh, 37 mils total adjustment. The MOA version has about 120 MOA total adjustment, but 60 per turn. How they do that is... It's a half minute adjustment when you're dialing up. So you're going in half minute increments. Now some people are out there saying, well, wait a minute, I wanna be finer. I want quarter minute adjustments. Super easy. Dial it up to your number so you go there and then just take your quarter minute lever and come up. That gives you your quarter. So if you need something like that quarter mil fine tune, just throw that lever. It'll stay there at that quarter minute extra or you can throw it off. Very easy to accomplish with that one hand. You can turn it and hit it pretty fast, pretty easy. Say you need a 10 and a quarter MOA. Dial up quickly to your 10 and then come up your quarter. You can come back down. Real simple to use. In the mills, it'll be one tenth coming up with two tenths adjustments. So that'll give it that speed for your course adjustment and then your fine tune. Very similar to the Marine Corps' Yonertal back in the day. The Yonertal was done back in 1978, had the lever underneath that gave you three mil or three MOA plus or minus. Very similar in that. However, this is half mil with quarter mil fine tuning. On top here, we have a knob. Well, what's that knob? That's Night Force's brake, and how that works is you push it down and turn it on that way, and you can see you have a red line that's showing you it's on. Push it down and bring it back, and it's off. Say you're going out there, and you're going to push it, and you're using something like a holdover reticle, and you're going to dial X amount of adjustment on there. You can come up push it down, get the brake on, now your elevation is locked. You can use your reticle however you need it. Take it, turn it off, go back to your zero. This also has a zero stop underneath, though it's not set yet, but it does have a zero stop. So zero stop with a brake. Unlocking so it's locked as well with your windage, so you can hit that, take it off, and use it. 
These are some of those features that have been asked for by the military and one of the things to make sure that they can uh, break off the turrets and make sure they, they stay in one place where they use it. Next feature everyone was asking about, Digi-Alum. People had always said, you know, the night force was either an on or off with their illumination. To adjust it, you had to go under the cap, under the battery, and turn a little screw, change the brightness just slightly, and then you, that's what it was. Well, now you have a push-button digi-alum. Step it, push it, and, and come up or down, however you need it. You can then turn it off and keep it in its original place. It's an intelligent illumination. On top of that, Hold it down, about eight seconds, it's gonna flash and change colors. You can go from red or green and do the same steps no matter what color you are. Pop it off, come back to the same place where you left it. Real step forward with the illumination there. Uh, lights the whole reticle. It's a great addition for people who wanted that illumination. And you could take it down pretty far or take it up pretty bright, it's up to you knock it off and come back right to it. So those are your main features with the new front focal plane 5 to 25 from Night Force. We just got it, not even uh, 48 hours with it. We're getting ready to mount it up. We have some of the Night Force 34 millimeter rings here and what we're going to do is mount this and put it on one of our rifles and go to town with it. So Look for this probably to your local dealers around the first of the year. There were a lot of pre-orders, so those guys will be getting them sooner. Probably end of November, beginning of December, I'm not 100% sure. But this is the new Night Force 5-25 to front focal plane. Uh, as you could tell, it, lo it looks pretty burly. However, when we compare it to something like a Schmidt & Bender 5-25, it's actually a, a little bit shorter in the make. So it's not quite as big as it seems 